We were driving home the other day, and, and it occurred to me how accustomed we've become to huge quantities of food. You know, when you stop at the gas station, you can get the big 32-ounce uh, drink for $1.79, or you can stop and get a big uh, family-sized candy bar or something like that. I passed a sign on the interstate about this, this restaurant declaring that if you could eat their massive steak in an hour, it was free. We didn't stop to eat. But, uh, <laughs> but I was reminded of a story of a young man who went to Italy for the first time. And he went into a coffee shop, and he, he stepped into the coffee shop to get his coffee, and he was given a very small espresso. And so he, he watched as his new friends, they, they just... They sipped on that espresso, and they stayed there for an hour just sipping espresso and talking. And he marveled at how this little cup, he just, he just sipped it. And it was all about the conversation. It was all about the investment of time around the table. Not how big the cup was. We come to this table week after week. To share in the bread and to share in the cup. Just a tiny bit of bread and a sip of juice. But we come here to invest in this moment. To invest and to savor this moment. And this meal. As we remember Jesus. As we remember that night. Where he took a loaf of bread and he blessed it. And he broke it. He said, this is my body. Which is broken and given for you. Take and eat and savor. Because this is given for you. Let us pray. Gracious God, <clears throat> as we come to your table, we're thankful that you give to your children the bread. The children that were wandering in the desert received manna. Elijah the prophet was sustained in the wilderness. Spiritually starved people of Jesus' day heard him say, I am the bread of life. We also come to receive your sustaining presence in the breaking of this bread. Let us be nourished, strengthened, and encouraged by the breaking of bread. As you have shared with us, let us learn to share with those of the world as we break this bread, as we learn that only in sharing is there true living. Amen. And in like manner, he took the cup and he blessed it and he poured it out and he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. It was poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Take and drink. In remembrance of me. Let us pray. O oh, merciful God, when you have wanted us to be childlike, we have been childish. When you have wanted us to be to cooperate, we have been competitive. When you have wanted us to lift our one another up, we have torn one another down. When you have wanted us to be peacemakers, we have stirred up conflict. Yet this communion table is to us like the sign that your love never gives up. Your patience never gives up. Your forgiveness never gives up. In eating this bread, we who are often weak find the courage we need to try again to have us as you would as want following Jesus Christ. Amen.
here at FCC. All are invited and welcome at the table this morning. We offer communion two ways. If you would like, you can remain seated in your pews and our deacons will come and they will serve the trays and you can serve one another there in the pews. Or if you'd like, you can come forward, a way of coming to the table and coming to Christ this morning. Our elders will be stationed out front and you can come and take by intention if that's what you prefer this morning. Just let our elders get stationed out front before you come forward if that's your desire. But either way... You're welcome and you're wanted as we come together now to commune with one another and with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The table is open. Let us come and partake. Good morning. Um, my name is Carla Cunningham, and I'm a pretty new face uh, at FCC. And um, Leah asked me um, if I would be willing to come up and tell you all what you all mean to me. Um, I guess it's Stewardship Month. And um, so I'm going to try not to be too long-winded. I can be that way. but. Um,